Hello, everyone, and welcome to Seven Reasons Why You Should Get Yourself a High Powered PEV, like uh, like the veteran Sherman, or like a another high powered PEV. For this video, I'm just going to be using the Sherman as a as we ride around here. In this video, I just want to go over some of the reasons why you might fit into ownership with one of these high powered PEVs coming from someone who eats, sleeps, and breathes <laughs> uh, uh, electric unicycles in particular. Just wanted to have some fun, go ride around, and talk about high-powered PEV. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's have some fun. All right, come along. Come along now. Okay, so I've been thinking a little bit about uh, what I really want to express in this video and, and on this channel, and rather than do like a 500 mile review update of the veteran Sherman, which I'll also probably have coming as well, I really just wanted to actually talk about to the, to the greater audience about why, why I am obsessed with these and, and why I think you might be obsessed with these. So seven reasons. Why, why might you fit the bill to get one of these high-powered PEVs? Uh, so the first reason, I think, is honestly, frankly, if you're a thrill seeker, these high-powered PEVs are just on another level now. Um, I mean, even with, within the past couple of, uh, of months here, I mean, not months, but within the past couple of years, we have just seen a huge, absolutely huge uh, jump in sort of the capabilities and performance and and uh, and size and weight of these PEVs. And so, if you're a thrill seeker, this just might be the thing you never knew you needed. For all those people out there who constantly crave something to get their blood pumping throughout the day, something to constantly improve. This is it. Uh, these, these high powered PEVs are just, are just amazing. Um, you know, they're, <laughs> they are really something else these days. So if you're a thrill seeker, number one, this will satiate your your thirst for thrill. I promise. Ooh, oh, I heard some rocks there. Okay, all right, cool. Now that we've got that out of the way, uh oh, I felt a raindrop. It was kind of like a wet raindrop too. It was like a bigger one. Uh oh. We will see. We will see. All right, I'm just gonna go up here. And then we'll talk about reason number two, okay? Okay. Here we are in the middle of Lowhurst Park, and it looks like this entire big old tree fell down because of the ice storm that we had. It's just too much weight on the branches. Crazy. That's a big tree. That is a big tree. Um, number two. For those commuters out there, uh, if... If you have a really long commute and you want to do something besides sit in your car, uh, this is this is like right in between uh, something like an electric bike and and a car. Uh, shoot, I mean, it's it's more fun than both of those things, but the the thing is, you know, on something like this, the veteran German. Oh my goodness. I mean, this thing eats miles for breakfast. It, it is amazing how quickly this thing can get me from point A to point B. I mean, really, uh, even going slowly on this thing, you just kind of find yourself like on the other side of town suddenly uh, just by cruising. Uh, and if you're trying to make it somewhere, you can really make it there quite quickly. Um, so for those commuters out there, if you're looking for something that's kind of not an electric bike, 
but not a car and you want to look cool uh, maybe not that last part I, I don't know about looking cool but this is it I promise okay uh, where am I going I'm, I'm going to the wrong side of town very quickly uh, let's let's turn around here let's go that way I'll talk about the third type of reasoning that you can trick yourself into buying and spending all of your money on a high-powered PEV. Sounds like a good plan. All right, go team. Okay. Oh, oh no, doggo. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's officially raining now. So, reason number three. What was reason number three? I wrote it down. Oh no, and it's in the opposite pocket. Oh my gosh. Now I have to do my passcode because face ID. Uh, okay, reason number three. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Yes. Reason number three. For those of you like me who thrive off of exploration and uh, like the, the freedom of the open road and big wide open spaces and and sort of that that clarity that you get from from tunnel vision and uh, that space just that space that you need this might be just your favorite thing uh, at least I know it is I, I know it is for me the the thrill of like exploration and yeah, just just uh, tunnel vision, that constant sort of uh, that state you get in when you just really love doing something. It's it's uh, it's mind numbing. Um, yeah, mind numbing is what I'd call it. I'm not riding in that. I'm just gonna just gonna ride on the street here. And there's still no one behind me. Okay, I can stay out here. Hey, look at that guy. <laughs> I just gave him like the motorcycle peace sign. Anyways, back. That's how cool these are, okay? Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, if, if you're looking for a device for exploring, actually, I was just talking with my friend Tyler the other day about this. If you have something like a, you know, an adventure van, or if you just have a car, and you're going on a road trip or something like that, or exploring, this is the perfect thing to have in in the back there just it, it's absolutely the perfect thing to have back there because uh, you can go to a new place and then you can have a hundred miles of, of fuel of electricity oh gosh look at this now this is pretty oh man this day is just flirting with the weather. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. So, anyway, exploration. This is this is a, these high-powered PEVs. Oh my gosh, it's it's the next step. I really think it's the next step. Okay, so let's go to another undisclosed location to talk about reason number four that you should buy a high-powered PEV. I'll see you there. All right. Reason number four is for the gear lovers. For the gear lovers out there, this will entirely drain your bank account. Gosh, I, I don't really know of another... Uh, hobby other than riding motorcycles or uh, I guess every hobby has its, its gear that you always want but my goodness you know just the amount of creativity that people have when they come up with like gear solutions is, is just fine you know like in our group we've had people who made like custom remotes that are like molded to their hands for their boards and, and 
everyone's into like lights and and uh, yeah, just getting excited about the ride, you know, uh, decorating yourself not only to be safe but to look cool. Who doesn't want to look cool? Yeah. If if you're looking for something to completely drain your bank account when it comes to uh, to a hobby, this this will absolutely do that. Uh, so so there you go. Oh, look at this beautiful day. Just awesome. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go to another undisclosed location. For reason number five, reason number five. I think we're, I think we're getting there. Bear with me. <laughs> All right. Reason number five, and I think this is a really important one. If you want to join a growing community of PEV riders that are just sharing in the addiction of the love for the stoke of the ride, then these are for you. This is for you. By all means, please join in. The water is warm. And, you know, it's just a real great way for people to come together. I think this is just such a fun way for people to get stoked about something together and it's something that's new and it's really up to us to be as welcoming and accommodating as possible to people who want to jump on in like on the Portland Friday Night Rides Portland E Riders if you're around here please join us on uh, on Fridays at at OMSI at seven o'clock, talk about PEVs and and shape the future together. You have fun and be silly. So, if you're looking for a community that is, uh, or if you're looking for something to build community around, there's so many ways and. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, I just think it's so cool. The the places you can see together, the places you explore together, uh, the people you meet. Uh, just last Friday, I had uh, the privilege of meeting uh, Jimmy Chang and his friend Andrew and his son Ethan. And felt like they were just part of the part of the community and they totally are uh, thanks thanks for coming up again uh, you're, you guys are welcome here anytime um, but yeah the people you meet and and the cool stuff that you get exposed to this this just might be for you what a gorgeous day when you just look at this it is just so pretty Uh, I actually don't know why I'm going this way. Ah, just let the cruise take you wherever it takes you, you know? All right. So, community. Join. Join in. Hop in. Okay. I'll see you for reason number six. I'm going to get comfy here. So reason number six is, is a rather simple one, actually. If you're looking for an excuse to get outside, this is it. For all, all of you who are feeling cooped up by the pandemic and a nice walk outside just isn't enough, this is for you. Like, what a good excuse to just be outside. These are getting to the point where you can just stay outside all day. Uh, you can explore most terrain and get in some fresh air, get some sun, 
gosh, I, I can't think of a, a better way to, to give yourself an excuse. Just, you know, tell yourself as you're making that purchase for a couple thousand dollars that this is all in the effort to get yourself outside and then it's justified and it's fine. <laughs> but, but really though, like, what would I be doing right now? You know, this gives me a reason just to appreciate the day rather than being stuck inside. It like forces me to spend more time outside enduring the elements and feeling alive rather than just scrolling on my phone all day. So yeah, super simple reason. If, if you just want an excuse to be outside, this is it. By the way, how cool is, is sitting on the Sherman, huh? Look at this. Gosh. It's actually really not that bad. It's, it's kind of comfortable. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I would recommend the Sherman for, for anybody who's uh, looking to just cruise. All right. We're coming up at the end. Thanks for... Uh, coming along so far. Let's talk about reason number seven, shall we? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming along and watching the video. Reason number seven is, is really one of the main reasons why I even started making videos and, uh, and it's really one of the reasons why I got into this, uh, in the first place, and that is to accelerate the use of alternative forms of transportation. You know, I think, here, one second, I just want to get going here. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, that's, that's a nice strip to just kind of cruise on. Um, but really, if you want to accelerate the adoption of alternative forms of transport and kind of say, you know, we don't have to be stuck in cars, we have choices, then this is for you. Uh, not only is it really cool, not only is it like on the bleeding edge of tech and, and there's new versions coming out all the time, it's a very fast paced, very fast paced industry, uh, these these. PEVs and, and electric unicycles. And, you know, I, I think that if you want to be sort of driving the adoption of these things and, and kind of changing this, the landscape of, of how we think about transportation and city design, and this is something that I'm rather passionate about. I, I think that, you know, we, we obviously can't all be in cars all at the same time. You know, you can't fit an elephant into a wine bottle and I love the fact that there's so many like hardcore cyclists here in Portland but for somebody like me you know gosh seven minutes of exercise a day is just about my uh, my maximum and so I uh, I appreciate having you know three kilowatt hours of power at my disposal and yeah, I think that a lot of other people do too. And, you know, we're, we're kind of shaping what's going to be adopted. You know, you know how you know it's cool is every time you go past, uh, like kids, they always, always have to say something about it. It's just like, whoa, wow. Or the other day I had one kid go, look, 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 look. That's how you know. That's how you know. I mean, not that you have to, like, be cool and impress people, but I feel like people are starting to get it, you know? People are starting to see these things, and, and they're like, oh, one wheel, or like, oh, what's that? Or, you know, somebody goes by on, like, a super, uh, you know, crazy fast scooter, and it's, it's changing the perception of, like, what options are available. You know, what is available? It used to be... You could get a car, you could use public transport, you could walk, 
you could get a bike. But now you have this a, a flurry of additional options for getting around, for building community. You know, people people love these things. And I think it's only going to grow. And it's only going to get bigger. So anyway, jump on in if you want to help change the future. The future. Oh, cool. Well, hey, thank you for coming along. And uh, I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to try to get more regular with these videos. I just went through, uh, well, I think we all went through some you know, difficult times here, but it seems like we're coming out the other end. Yeah, want to hear from you. If you have any additional reasons that that you think people should get into PEVs, please comment below. If you had a good time, just go ahead and uh, give the like button a good time. All right, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Later.